Okay, in the last video we looked at the idea of differentials and what a differential is and if you missed that it's a, it's a quick six minute video on basically this picture and real quickly all a differential is is a really small number and we decided that if we were interested if if we had this value C and then this really small change of delta X to the right and we were interested in the height of f of c plus delta x. That height is going to be right here. Okay. Well, what we noticed that if, if we looked at the tangent line at f of c, that dy, which is this this rise, this rise from f of c to to the to the tangent line, does a really good job of approximating this height, the, the actual height, delta y. In fact, we said that dy approximates delta y. Um, even though that uh, dx, which is this run right here, is actually equal to delta x. So dx equals delta x, but dy approximates delta y. I hope that's obvious from this picture. Delta x is here, dx is here, dy is here, and delta y is right here. Okay, so now what we want to do is look at an example and how is this useful um, for, for really anything. Well, um, let's go ahead and scroll down here. And let's look at uh, one, the square root of 100.4. Let's just say that you, you wanted to know what the square root of 100.4 was. You didn't have a calculator. Um, and I, think, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, well, it's 10 point something, and you're, and you're right. And that would probably be a good enough approximation for 99% of, of people. Um, but we want to make things more complicated than they are, so here we go. Let's go ahead and consider the function, the square root of x. Okay, now if we let x, if we let x be 100, and we let delta x equal 0.4. Okay, well if I graph this thing, okay, here's the graph of the square root of x. And I'm going to, this is not going to be to scale, but I'm going to draw it this way to hopefully hopefully make a point. If I, if I drew it to scale the picture, it would be really hard to see the picture. So here's the origin. That represents 100 units. And this represents, this represents 0.4 units. Okay. So this right here is my small change. This is my delta x which is equal to 0.4. Okay, now I wrote delta x here, I wrote dx up here. Remember from, from our picture up here that those two guys are actually the same thing. So we can use them interchangeably. Okay, so the, the value that we're actually interested in, okay, the actual value that we're interested in is this value right here. How high is that thing? How high is this red dot? Well, we know how high this red dot is. This red dot is, is just 10. And this red dot up here, isn't this, isn't this f of 100 plus 0.4? OK, that's just f of 100 plus 0.4. That is what we're actually interested in. <clears throat> OK, so what we need to do now is we need to look at the tangent line at 100 and I'm going to attempt to make a tangent line here that's actually not bad that's one of the better ones I've done okay there's a tangent line at 100 and you'll notice this looks just like the above picture so I think that's a good thing um, because hopefully you'll be able to apply this to to maybe some more complicated examples well let's look at the slope of the tangent line now and we're gonna look first at the run that's supposed to be a dashed line. Not a very good one, but it'll do. This is dx. Now remember, dx is the run associated with the slope of, of this tangent line. And dx equals the actual run, the actual delta x. OK, well, what about the rise, the rise of this associated with the slope of the tangent line here? Well, that, that rise right there is dy. Well, what are we interested in? We're not interested in, well, we are interested in dy, but ultimately we're, we're interested in, in 
that height right there. How high is it? How high is it to that red dot? Well, we saw from up above that if I want to approximate this height to right here, that dy, this is such a, a small space, even though it looks large, this is such a, a, a tiny amount, that if I measure this distance instead, all the way up to the tangent line, that that is going to approximate uh, this red line right here. Well, what does dy actually equal? Uh, dy equals, dy equals the derivative of f multiplied by the differential of x. Okay, now again, just to belabor a point here, we got that once again from up here. Here it is, and it, it's pretty much the same picture. So I don't, don't know why I needed to come back up here, but uh, maybe it'll jog your memory from the the previous video. So this distance right here is a good approximation for this distance right here. Okay, well let's actually calculate dy then. What is um, what is dy? actually equal to? Uh, well, dy is equal to uh, the derivative of f. Well, what's the derivative of the square root of f? x? It's just 1 half times x to the negative 1 half multiplied by dx. And dx is just 0.4. So we'll use some parentheses here so that my decimal doesn't look like a multiplication sign. And there you have it. Um, <clears throat> well, uh, it, it, let's rewrite this a little bit so that it's a little bit easier to see. Whoops, this is a, uh, a y instead. This is 1 over 2 times the square root of x. But what's x? x is just 100. So let's substitute that in. And then we're going to multiply by 0.4. Okay, so understand what this distance actually is before we calculate it. The dy is actually the length of this yellow line. And remember, we want, we want to ultimately find this red line. So we actually need to add something to this yellow line. And if you're saying f of, 10, or f of 100, you're correct. We actually have to add to it this distance right, right there. And that's the same distance as this right here. That's just f of 100. So if we take f of 100 and add to it dy, now by now you should be able to do this uh, even in your head. Uh, in the denominator, I have 20. Uh, in the numerator, I have 0.4. We'll take care of this in a minute. OK, and we can go a little bit further with this. f of 100 is 10 plus, uh, well, what's this? This is really 4 tenths here. So 4 tenths divided by 20 is the same as, is the same as 4 tenths times 1 over 20. And that's going to equal 10 plus, well, what happens here? We get uh, some reducing happening. We can reduce a 4 out of there and there, and we're left over with a 5. Okay, and then 10 times 5 is 50. So we get 1 over 50. Okay, let me scroll up just a little bit, give myself some room here. Okay, so we have an approximation. We have an approximation for the square root of 100.4, and it is approximately 10. And one fiftieth. Okay, it's not an exact answer, but it is an approximation, and it turns out it's a pretty good approximation. You can check that out on your calculator to verify it. Um, but that is one use for differentials. I hope that made sense. In the next video, we will go ahead and look at uh, another use of differentials, which is propagated error. Error. Excuse me. See you there.